why don't we celebrate Christmas? With regards to these festivals, despite them having various names, they are from the symbols of religions. It is a defining characteristic of religions and their followers that differentiates them from other religions and its followers. There are an abundant amount of narrations from the texts of the Sharia, i.e. the Quran and the authentic Sunnah, indicating that annual festivals of the Muslims are only two, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, and the Eid of every week is the day of Jum'ah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, every nation has an Eid, Friday, and this is ours. So other types of annual festivals, such as Christmas, New Year's, and other than that, are for the people of the book, i.e. the Jews and the Christians. Hence, it's not permissible for the Muslim to look forward to these festivals and celebrate them, nor is it permissible to extend greetings for them and partake in them. And what is included in that prohibition is gifting them what is necessary for their festivals or selling them that which will that which is required, like decor, lights, Christmas trees and sweets specific for these festivals. Verily, this is prohibited for two reasons. Firstly, in it is imitation of them and acceptance of their disbelief. Whilst Islam has forbidden imitating the disbelievers in what is exclusive to them, i.e. their religion. Secondly, in these festivals there are innovations in the religion of Allah, the exalted. Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, It's prohibited to congratulate the disbelievers for rituals exclusive to them according to the agreement of the scholars, such as congratulating them on their festivals by saying greetings to you, or greetings for you for this festival, etc. Even if the person saying this does not fall into kuf or disbelief, yet it is from what is prohibited. However, this, I refraining from congratulating them, doesn't display bad mannerism and disrespect. For indeed, refusing to take part is not disrespect. Rather, it distinguishes a Muslim in his or her beliefs and symbols from others. For this reason, it is allowed to accept gifts from them. And it is not considered as partaking or agreeing with their festival to, festivals. Rather, it is accepted to show good manners, soften their hearts and call them to Islam as long as it isn't something they have specifically slaughtered for their festival. Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, As for accepting gifts from them on their festivals that we have mentioned regarding Ali ibn Talib, May Allah be pleased with him that he was given gifts from Nairuz, a Persian festival for the beginning of the year, and he accepted them. Abu Barza narrated that some of the Majus, Majans who resided with him offered some gifts for during their festivals and rituals. So he would tell his family, eat what they give you of the fruits and as for their slaughtered animals, return it to them.